Hey everybody, how's it going? Of course, my name is SMK. You can always call me Steven. Welcome to a quick little review of the Elgato green screen. So in this video, you're going to get like a review section. You're going to get a how-to section. So the first half of the video is just nothing but me talking about the general information about this product and, you know, my opinions and thoughts and just whatever else you can think about. Um, and the second half of this video is like how to set it up, uh, you know, in XSplit Broadcaster and in OBS Studio. So if you don't know how to set up a chroma key option with your webcam uh, in XSplit Broadcaster and OBS Studio, that will be later in the video. I'll put timestamps on the screen here so you know uh, what part is XSplit Broadcaster and what part is OBS Studio. So the beginning part, let's start talking, you know, green screen. So disclaimers, um, Elgato, they sent me said free green screen. So this is, you know, a sponsored video because they sent me free product. They did not pay me to make the video. They asked me to talk about it in said video because free product, I returned with said video, but they did not pay me to make it. Just want to make that very clear. Okay. So my honest opinion about this product, we'll get to that in just a second. So let's talk prices. So the Listing right here. I'll put a little thing right here so you can see what I'm talking about. The Elgato green screen goes for $150 USD, so $150 American money. The sizing of it is from the top left to right. It's the actual green screen itself, not the actual full casing. It's just the green screen is 148 centimeters across, and then up and down, it is 180 centimeters. So that is your dimensions of the said green screen okay um it's in a hard casing um it's portable because there's a handle on top of it uh, i'll show that in a little bit um it's got legs to support it up behind the green screen is like the actual levers like the lever contraption to support the green screen as well so it stays put when you have it propped up cool thing about it is you can obviously this is the the highest it goes so if i pull this up anymore it's not going to go anywhere. But the cool part is I can pull it down and down and down. And it stays there. So I can, if I wanted my green screen to just be right there, it stays right there. So obviously I want it to be, you know, all the way up. So, because it's the, you know, the right setting it needs to be at. So um, my honest opinion about this green screen is it's freaking perfect. I swear if you have the money, buy it obviously a big thing right now is like they don't have a lot in stock as i'm making this video hopefully that changes in due time because it's a great freaking product dude it's like everything you need it's portable it's the right sizing it's made out of good material like i i feel like it's a solid made product i don't feel like it's some flimsy piece of shit that'll break um obviously take care of it and don't treat it like a piece of shit so if you if you if you do travel with it a lot you know, just be cautious, you know, make sure, you know, you properly secure it away and stuff like that. And, you know, you don't just, you know, throw it around, but I mean, it's a pretty solid casing and it's, I mean, I don't think it's going to just break if you drop it once or whatever, or something happens, but again, it fits in my room perfectly I and mean, my room is small. So I was able to fit this on my room and like crop out all of this extra nonsense and have it still give me exactly what a green screen should do when it comes to a, a live stream or, you know, making a video. So obviously all you need to do is you can either grab the handle or you can just kind of grab right here and you just push it down. And you can, that's it. If you want to, you know, set it up, grab the handle, pull it up. See, handle's right here. Pull it up. That's it. It's super simple. Um, you know, the price of the green screen is $150.00. It's a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? Especially to a starting up content creator, you know, starting up sucks because you know, you're going to spend a lot of money on your computer, let alone the games you're going to play or this or that. But I can assure you, this is something that's worth the money if you want to have a green screen set up. You don't need to have a green screen set up to be a successful live streamer or a YouTuber. It's just if you want a different aesthetic to how you look on camera, this is what you would use because it'll get rid of the background and it'll just be focused on what's right here. So it gets rid of all the extra stuff in your room. So $150, you know, that's a lot of money. You know, that's for you to, you know, weigh your options here. Um, what I can tell you is other options that I've done personally in the last three years of being a full-time content creator, 
uh, whereas I use green construction paper, I put it all together. There was, you know, a big enough space to, you know, be something like this, you know, behind me so I could use a green screen. Um, that was, that was the cheap end. Um, but it was not really, ch you know, it was cheap, but I mean, it was, you know, the cheapest you can get. Cause then the next, you know, uh, topic would be using like cloth, but obviously you need to have something to hang up said cloth. Um, you know, obviously a green cloth, obviously, you know, like the same color as that. Um, and then, you know, just painting your wall green. Um, I would say out of those three options, painting my wall green was the best because it gave me just a solid, just, you know, cut out of myself and it just worked great. The only problem with all three of those options is, you know, obviously if you have like a recording set up or if you're like myself, you work in your room, like to have to look at something like that every day gets really annoying and especially like, you know, it's just in the way and like if you like if you have like the cloth if it's like set up somewhere you have to like either you know put it up or down if it's like hanging from your ceiling because i did that i had i had a green screen hang from my ceiling and then i would like pull it down and then i have to roll it up or i just take down the fabric and it's just a mess with this freaking elgato green screen i can pull this down i can you know lock it up pick it up and take it outside my room if I really wanted to get it out of my room. But obviously I don't do that because I work in here. So, but if I needed to, that option is there and it's so freaking simple. So at the end of the day, it, it can be a bit pricey if it's not big enough for what you need. Obviously don't buy it at that point. Like then you're just wasting your money. Um, but I really think it's perfect for what a lot of live streamers or content creators on youtube are looking for they're looking for something simple something that's easy to set up with no hassle and then you just go into xsplit broadcaster obs studio you configure it with your web camera bing bang boom you're done so um that's everything i have to say about it i think it's a great product and it works great i've used it for about a month now i think it's been roughly about like a month plus or whatever and i've literally had no issues it, it works great uh the big thing is you know it's it's big but it's not big at the same time it's the right size so like you know if it the actual case doesn't fit in your room like mine i had to kind of slant it to make it fit but you know i cropped out all this other stuff and it works fine so you just have to kind of figure out how the green screen will fit in your room or your recording setup but for me i was able to do it and my room is pretty small so it works out for me. I've loved using this product. Thank you again to Elgato for giving me a free green screen. Hashtag sponsored again because this is a sponsored video because they gave me a product to try out and I'm more than happy to talk about a product uh, that I like to uh, you know, pretty much use every single day. But I'm going to be very, very critical. So my big critiques about this again, $150. It's a bit pricey. And if it's not the right size for you, then don't buy it. But if you're a live streamer, uh, YouTube content creator and you're looking for a green screen I think this is one of the best things you're ever going to buy because all the other three options I've talked about I hated them to some degree and this has been the best thing I've ever used in the last three years I've been a content creator so if only I had this three years ago it would it, make things just a little bit easier but now uh, we're going to move on to the portion of the video where it's talking about how to set it up the chroma key options so how to actually use you know and, and apply your green screen so how to use a chroma key option and XSplit Broadcaster, and an OBS Studio, all right? Uh, thank you for watching this portion of this video. I know it's a little very rambly, but I like to be very honest, very straightforward, and make sure you guys know exactly what you're getting yourself into when it comes to buying, like, a very expensive product. It's $150. That's $150. Man, that's a lot of money. So uh, thank you for listening to me ramble, and uh, here is the how-to portion of the video. Uh, but if you have any more questions, comments, concerns, you know, again, drop them down below in the comment section, but here is the how-to portion of the video, and that'll be the end of the, vi the video after the how-to part. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're brand new, and uh, I'll see you later. All right, guys, we are in XSplit Broadcast. I'm going to show you guys how to set up your webcam with a chroma key option so you can use your green screen to the fullest. Obviously, XSplit is one of my sponsors, hashtag sponsored hashtag shameless plug uh if you want to save you know 10 percent on any license with xsplit code smk link down below in the description if you're interested in getting xsplit broadcaster okay now for that said so uh you know camera options i'm using the c920 all right cool so 
I'm um, going to my camera settings here. Uh, obviously, I need to get rid of some stuff for this to work just fine. Okay, so this is an optional thing. You do not have to do this. I have to do this in order for my green screen to work in my current setup because of, you know, my room is not that big. Okay, so I cropped out everything. Great. Obviously, I'm standing, so this is going to be a little messed up, but obviously, you know, I'm really close to the camera. So, all right, so then we go to the color. This, this is honestly the most important thing. You just go to the color option in XSplit Broadcaster uh, and you, you know, select chroma key and ta-da. Look how clean that looks. Look at how beautiful that looks. But yeah, it's super simple. Obviously, these settings right here, you have to mess with those because your setup is different from mine. Your lighting is different than mine. Your just general room is different than mine. So... Just mess with these settings. Typically, the 255 is what I've always done. But again, just mess with your settings. It'll just take you a few minutes. It's not hard to do. But if you want to turn off your chroma key settings, just go back to none. And then, yeah. So obviously, this is, you know, let's, let's make it a practical setup. If you want to see if you, how good your green screen is looking, blow it up like this and kind of just, you know, walk around. Obviously, you know, if you see a little fuzzy, that means uh, there's not enough light here, which there's not because I typically don't do, you know, standing setups like this all the time in my room. I typically am always sitting, uh, but I just got done doing a video where I was standing. So, yeah, but just to know if your green screen looks, you know, fine or whatever, if you got the right parameters, blah, 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 just always blow up your webcam just to double check. So just for the funsies of it, you know, you know let's show the green screen in action. Just, ah, ah. Do the thing. Yeah. So it's it's pretty dope. It, it's pretty cool. It's just yeah. Do the thing. Do the thing. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Go to Super Saiyan real quick. Bah. So yeah, that's how you set up your Elgato green screen and XY broadcaster. And here's that's a little live demonstration of how you look with your game footage, stuff like that. Uh next up is OBS Studio. If you're interested in that, um uh, watch that portion of the video. And yeah, on to the next one. All right, guys, so if you use OBS Studio, this is how to set it up, uh, the Elgato uh, green screen in OBS Studio. It's a really simple tutorial. So obviously, I already have my webcam added here. So you, to add a webcam, you just go and add a video capture device. Obviously, I already have it set up, so there you go. It's really simple. So obviously, I already have that added here. Uh, so you, what you want to do is you want to right-click and go to Filters. Okay, and obviously, there's a chroma key and a crop pad. So this crop pad, see, as you can tell, you know, the green screen... It doesn't, you know, fill up my whole room. So I have to kind of, you know, get rid of all this excess stuff, right? So since, uh, you know, in OBS Studio, how to do that, you just, you know, add a crop filter. You go down here and you add uh, the crop pad. I've already done that. So let's, this is, th these are my settings. These are not going to be what yours are. But, you know, just, you know, adjust them if you need to crop out stuff. If your webcam's, you know, obviously getting going outside of the regions of your green screen. Obviously, like, my, my room is, you know, like I said, it was small. I have to kind of, you know, do what I got to do. Uh, so, basically, just turn it on. And, obviously, you can tell now that instead of having the whole entire image of the room, you know, from my webcam, now it's just centered on me, okay? The cool part now is that, uh, you know, obviously, you need to add the chroma key. So, you go down here and you need to add the chroma key option. I already have it set up, so all you need to do is just turn it on. Boom, Okay. Uh, big things you're gonna want to mess with is the similarity, smoothness, key spill. I always leave that at one. But obviously, like you know, these you know settings mess with how you will. Um, you know, everybody's different. How you set your stuff up, how your lighting is, it's all different. But just have good lighting and make sure your green screen is well lit, so it'll just be a nice clean image. Um, but the big thing here now is, I mean, you, you literally see this. Like, what does this do? So let's actually use this in a practical setting. So let me um, just turn off these filters really quick and then uh, switch on over to me playing some Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Okay, I'm playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 on the Nintendo Switch. I just, just made a video for it. Um, so let's actually use this and make it practical, okay? So, so if I was to set this up for a recording or a live stream or whatever you're doing, same thing. You just turn on your stuff and boom. So this, this is what it looks like in OBS Studio once it's all put together, okay? So if I was, you know playing some Dragon Ball or whatever it you know it's it's all set up so that's all you need to know that's it it's just it's working just fine so yeah that's how you set it up in OBS Studio